here? Yes. Do you have that campus fellowship? You don't have campus fellowship. Why? What? Can somebody start? Many of you, how many of you are in one school? In one unit? Can I see your hand? If you are in one unit, what is the main popular unit that all of you have? Okay, how many of you are there? Can I be students? You see how many hands there are there? Do you know what campus meeting is? Do you know that in every campus there are 40 people? I don't know. In any part of the world, I study in London as well. I did, I'm not a Nigerian student, I'm a London student. And let me tell you, in every where you are, devil too is there. But if you carry the altar of God to your university, mm. I say every 12, anytime you have break, once in a week that you will come together and pray, just for 15 minutes, huh. I'm telling you, you're going to pull down every power of darkness that is there. Because you are the light of God. The light of God is only not showing when you are inside church. It shows wherever you go. Amen. Or is the university saying you shouldn't have campus meetings? Campus meetings, you come together and pray. That's what it means. Amen. So, who will start it in your university? I want to see somebody who will start it. Stand up. Stand up. Who wants to join you? Yeah, this is a university. Come on, let me know. From there, you will be bringing people, people who have problems, who have issues, will come and cry out to you. You will pray for them. That is all you can find. Do you know the Bible says, one wow, with just a thousand, and two with just a thousand? So that means, if you are going to your school, to your school, your brother will chase 100,000 because God are rich nation is not man's rich nation. Then if you chase 100,000, you will chase a billion. Then if you chase a million, you will chase a billion. So by the time you know it, it becomes it becomes equal free for Amen. Father, I lead them up. As they go, let's find some one that follow them. Yeah. It will be a point of contact of so winning. Yeah. Father, on Wednesdays, on Sundays when they are coming to church, Lord, new people will come with them. Father, position them as gatekeeper in that place. Father, do with them what you did with us in Soro University. Lord, as our campus student is more than 1,000. Father, Lord, I decree and declare, O oh Lord, that the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, let his strength come close. Let the power of God rest upon you. Let it go before you. Come closer, come closer. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you. As you spread the wisdom and knowledge of God, should be released upon you. In Jesus' name, we all that are struggling to make it. You will find yourself excelling in the name of Jesus. Come here and I've got you. Who have I not touched? I've touched all of them. In Jesus' mighty name, the Bible says, I'm holy ghost to release us. I release you by the power of the Holy Ghost to go into the city, into that place, and win souls. And bring the souls to the kingdom. Lord, let your man not be sealed. Let your man be open. Let that one thing that is upon Jeremiah rest upon you. And whoever said to him, you should not get it. They open your mouth and speak. Lord, let them begin to turn their generation in all nations. In the name of Jesus, go and they serve. Amen. Let them be with you. Let all the hundred people be with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open your Bible, please. For the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 4. I want to talk to them on addiction. Somebody say addiction. You know, people are addicted to so many things. I'm addicted to prayer. You must be addicted to something. I'm addicted to prayer. 
My children said to me, Mommy, you are addicted to prayer and say yes, and bless God. There are some addiction that is not good, there are some addiction that is not. If you are addicted to your word, to the word of God, it's good. If you are addicted to gossip, you will destroy it. If you are addicted to 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 who know what I'm talking about? Who understand what I'm saying about? Many students are addicted to blabbering. Many students are addicted to their food. Many students are addicted to drink. They like drinking alcohol. But I pray after this message today, you will be set free in Jesus' name. Yeah. Any addiction that is working against your life, the Lord whom I serve shall set you free. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Many are addicted, they cannot be gossip. Even though they don't see it, they want to say it. Before I thought it's only gays that gossip, but now I gossip. Amen. 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 Addiction. Before I think it's only girls that move, that are so addicted to what they will wear, what they will put on. But now boys are addicted as well. To how their look is. Some spend hours bathing. Some spend hours reassessing themselves. While the important thing is going on, lecture is going on, class is going on, every time they are going late to school. Some are addicted to lateness. Black people are addicted to lateness. They don't care to know time. And if you don't respect time, time will not respect you. Because God created everything with time. And God keeps time. And God says, in my season, he said, the same time. You understand me? So everything has time. Amen. Back there, please. I just want everybody to pay attention. Amen. What are you addicted to? Addiction. You see, addiction is something that at times you don't even know you are addicted. There are girls that are addicted to, to, to fornication. By the time you know it, you end them up on the street. They are not fornicating because they want to do, because they, because they need to. They are addicted because demon has possessed part of them. There are some girls, I see president daughters that came to school in England, but I happened to be their mentor, and I saw them going out on the street at night looking for boys. Looking for boys, to pay boys to sleep with them. That is addiction, is it? And most of the addiction is released by the spirit of death. Most of the addiction comes from generational causes. Most of the addiction change their parents is what they've done, is what God is passing on to their children. Many every firstborn here today, in Jesus' mighty name, I break every addiction that connects with you. I scatter it by the power of the Holy Ghost. So Declare that they can never settle with a husband. But if God or woman of Samaritan can settle her, that same God is in the house to settle you. I that every every minute, even when they are what are they doing? Right there? <laughs> so my dictate, let me tell you. Blackberry is one of the end time signs that people don't know. This telephone you see, telephone. Don't you see every month they bring a new one? <laughs> that makes you to stay closer to the globe. It's part of the end time signs. If I carry my phone, I don't I don't know how many blackberry people have bought for me. I don't know how many people have bought for me. But uh, we always, in short, the last three, I went and said, can you send it for me? I need the money to go and feed the house. When they look at my phone, they will be laughing. I say, leave my phone. But I will have talk, talk, talk. I say, leave this phone. The phone is only meant to answer phone and text. I text messages. That's the only thing for the Phone is not meant for me to be putting my nakedness and the flash. Phone is not meant for me to be using it and then use it to.
take picture from picture to picture, take part of your body, take part of your leg, take part of your breast, and that your body is supposed to be covered. Oh my God. You know, this addiction that I'm talking about, I was praying, you know, what will I share to the youth? What will I share to them? You know, say, go and share about addiction. Many of them are addicted. Many of the boys are addicted to girls. They like girls. Even though they don't need the girl, they just like to have the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Okay, girl, you're laughing. Let me tell you, vibes is the handwork of devil. It's vibes that devil use for evil that make him fail. Yeah. When he got to him, he said, did God really say that? Yeah. We don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know he said? He, he doesn't want you to be wise. Yeah. He said, that it must be true. Then he went and plucked what he shouldn't pluck. All that is a dear. What is the addiction you have? Is it addiction of India him? Is it addiction of drug? Those spirit is called spirit of Bacchus. And if he possesses you, he tells God special grace to deliver you out of it. And I pray in Jesus' mighty name today, the resurrection of power of Jesus Christ shall break you and set you free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From anywhere you've been addicted, from anywhere the enemy have, have pulled you. If you go to the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 40, he said, Let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to the Lord. Search out, examine your ways and turn back to the Lord. Let me tell you, if a man is a boy like you, a young boy, young girl, this day we will see all kinds of addiction. A man will get up and say, no, it's a man that you must marry. Uh. Hey, God Almighty, show me. You know what? We are saying, that's why I'm so, so angry with the body of Christ. Because we notice it, but we don't do something about yeah, it. My, my youth, any time, <laughs> they know that I had the last Fridays with them. Yeah. And that last Fridays, everybody is on dry fasting. You, no cheer, we are moving our chairs. You got to pray. You got to cry out to God. You got to ask God, let the spirit of this world not enter me. It's not because they want to do it, but it's because they started by masturbating, which is one of the worst addictions. When you start masturbating, you will find yourself going into lesbian or going into gay. And today, many are so addicted to it, addicted to porn. Hey, my God. <laughs> porn is the in thing for Christian youths. But in Jesus' mighty name, by the power, if there is any youth God is looking for in the land, if Jesus came today, say, I'm looking for holy youth. Who is not addicted to anything but addicted to the Lord of God, mm. addicted to prayer, you will be the one. Yeah. Jesus, every full addiction is coming down. Yeah. You are going to re-examine yourself and see the way you are running after men is that how God wants you. The way you are running after girls. Can a young man not marry a young girl? Don't deceive yourself. One, his papa is still giving him food and garlic. One, they are still paying his rent. How can he marry him? What is he going to do for you? You, your own parents is still giving to you. I remember when I was a student, my father only would say, if any of you go and get pregnant, delete that name. You are so named for my name. Because if he bears my name, I will shoot you and you know nothing will happen. And, you know, and, and nothing will happen for real. And then when you look at that, you see that he was telling you because that time the same thing that but now it's worse. Because that time boys do everything to even talk to a girl. But this day, girls do everything to show to God. Yeah. I, I declare your body the temple of God. Yeah. I'm not the temple of any. If you can go to the book of First uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. First Corinthians 12, verse 1. What did he say? Read for me. Now, for some reason, friend, I will not have you. You see, I will.
will not have you ignorant. God will not have you ignorant. Unless you want to keep yourself in ignorance. Anytime enemy is coming to begin to speak to you about things that is not of God, first thing you will do is to withdraw yourself. Why do you think just say flee? Mm. Bible said just say flee. But today you will see people. They will say, No, you can't do nothing to me. I feel the blood of Jesus yeah. who told you. Yeah. Devil is is more more wise yeah. than you because he was there when you are created. Yeah. He knows your friend. He knows how you work. He's understanding. What is the addiction that is blocking your prayer? What is the addiction that is a veil between you and God? There is a demarcation. Oh my God, I felt so bad yesterday that I invited Holy Spirit to come and baptize the church. And Holy Spirit said to me, I cannot do it because they are life and flesh. So if you are life and flesh, how do you expect the Holy Spirit to work? It cannot work. And I know that teaching is going on in this church. I know that Pastor Victor and Pastor Rachel, I know that they are hampering on righteousness, on righteousness, on righteousness. They are being the world. Don't be like the world that hear the world and the cares of this world to so forget the world. Let the world that you receive bear fruit in you. If the world is bearing fruit, you will not be going to porn site. If the world is bearing fruit, even porn site now they put it on mobile phone. So my side church, you think they are reading, they are watching, they are reading Bible. Mm. But some of them are Facebook, or even on porn. Mm. In the church. <laughs> Nobody sees the Jesus. Very soon, everybody will come to Bible. Nobody Jesus sees Bible. Ah, in our in, in, in no London, nobody uses mobile phone. Uh -uh. <laughs> Since the day I was preaching, when well, the Lord took me to the back seat, when I got there, I saw a woman on Facebook. I said, "What are you watching? Let me see your phone." He said, uh, "Is the listing?" I said, "From today, I ban mobile phone in church. <laughs> Carry Bible. You see my own. It's done. But I'm not ashamed of it. Anywhere I go, I still carry my thing." I, why I turn is because I sleep with it and bath with it and fly with it. Everything is my best friend. He stay close to me. If I'm sleeping midnight, any time, and I'm, 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 I'm wake up to go to social and social scripture, immediately I'm going there. But most of you, we spend morning going through chat, 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 school time is going. In the class, somebody is beeping you, chatting you. Lecturer is teaching, you are doing something. Won't you pity your parents? Mm. Won't you pity them? And think of how much they are paying to send you abroad to God's school. Won't you pity them? Won't you think of your own self? Because every seed you sow, you will reap it. Every seed you sow, you will reap it. Don't let the enemy sow if you see that you are hard and we bring pains to you. If you go to the book of James chapter 5 verse 16, James 5 16, we are going to pick some few scriptures. And please write down these scriptures because it's going to help you. Anytime the spirit of addiction is coming to you, any spirit is coming to you, say stop it. Stop now. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm overcoming. Because after this, I'm going to bring all of you out that I am struggling with one thing and another. I pray and break that power. Let me tell you, it's nothing to be ashamed of. The only thing it shows is that you have not grown to the image of God. When you start growing to the image of God, many addictions will not find way in your life. Every human being is born with Adamic nature. Yeah. Well, uh, look, look at Bishop. As small as he is now, he can do something. If you ask him, why do you think he will lie? Yeah. Why did he lie? Is he the mother or the father that taught him? No. He is a damnic nature. That nature is in mouth. The nature of destruction. The nature of death. But God has come. Jesus Christ has come to die that you may be set free from it. Amen. And when you connect to him, you are free and you are free indeed. Amen. Somebody say, I'm free. I'm free. Somebody say, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Just 5, 16 said, Confess your, uh, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. You know the problem, even though when we today you see a brother, you call a brother and say, please pray with me, my brother. I'm having struggles with masturbating. 
You know, the next minute, the brother will carry it and go and shout to everybody. But that is not how life should be. Yeah. You are brothers. Do you know what it is to be brothers? Do you know that you are more connected if you are more from a Christian family? You are connected with your brother that is here. That's why when I came, I, I was I was looking for many of the girls and the boys that I know before. Because anywhere I go, when I see people once, when I see them again, I know these are mine. On the road, I say this is mine. But when I don't see you, what happened? Where are you? What? So I don't want anybody to go and go back to the world. The Bible says, do not even wish your enemies to go to hell. So I want everybody that day, you know how glorious or how beautiful it will be. People from Ukraine, Jesus, come, all of us, we are caught up. People from Russia, people from America, people from every part of the world. That's why I'm taking risk. Do you know how many times I would have had plane crash? But God, I said, Lord, what you put in me must not go with flight. Uh -huh. And I will not die by accident. Mm -hmm. And the Lord uphold me. Do you know why? Because I want to see you that they make heaven. Mm -hmm. I want, I'm telling you, I come to stage. Father, if it's money, let that money go. If it's human being that will make me to offend God, go. I will not fight you and leave it with God. Because my salvation and my heart, you see this heart? It's too important for me. Because what works in your heart is in your heart. If your brother does something to you or your sister does something, I struggle with it and come to you and say, my brother, please help me. But Christianity is full of hypocrites. Muslim man can go to his brother. When I go to like the, the Muslim world, you will see them. Do you know how they're coming to church? They will cover veil. Their husband thinks they're going to market. When they get to church, they will pull up the veil. And you will see them, they will dance, 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 dance. praise God. And all of them, and nobody, I mean nobody, none of them, will go out and tell one another's husband. But if it's today's Christian, ah, right there, then you will test the man's address. That's the man that says, you know where your wife is. Your wife is also as a May God help us to be our brother's keepers. May God preserve us to be our brother's keepers. Our sisters, our brothers, that we will be able to keep them and be able to look after them. Amen. Confess your sin to one another and God will heal it. The Bible says, Father, pray of the righteous and the best one. When both of you are doing over one thing, do over one thing, pray in God's name, God is never going to touch you. That's what God is saying. The reason when your brother does something, oh, that's what God is going to do. Ah, oh, he's a thief. Ah, hey, he's a liar. Ah, hey, he's this. Ah, hey, he did that, he did it. No, 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 no. Don't you know that the days of him which you used to judge all that, God will use to judge you. The mercy, the level of mercy you show. If you want to be a good person, watch David. If your brother, David was a man full of heart, full of mercy. If, if somebody comes to you, people who want it, even when you have the opportunity to kiss some, he refuse. He said, we want to so that God will show you mercy. Are you ready to ask for God's mercy? Try to pray. Are you asking God for his mercy? Or you are just leaving? If people tell you something, you will say. Then if you go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. Philippians 2, 13. Philippians 2, 13 says, It is God who works in both to will and to do for his good pleasure. It's only God who works it. It's not man. There is no injection. There is no treatment. You can give somebody who is possessed with spirit of loss that we care that person. It's impossible. There is no injection you can give to somebody who is a liar that can change it. There is no injection you can give to somebody who is possessed with spirit of, of, of WWE, end time spirit, that can save it. Amen. Amen. So I pray that in Jesus' mighty name, that we will begin to look towards it. Amen. If we go to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 12, verse 9. Say, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. God's strength is made perfect. Do you understand that? God, God said, my grace is sufficient for you. Where Paul have his own tongue. The Bible didn't tell us what the tongue is. But the Bible said he had tongue. And Paul cried unto God, God, please deliver me from this tongue. You know what happened? God said to him, my grace is enough for you. 
The grace of God can uphold you. The grace of God can make you. Listen, I was a student. And I was once a young girl. I didn't go, I didn't go, go uh, one day become a woman. No, no, no. I was once a young girl. And I also have young girls. My daughter is 23 years. She's a virgin. She's a lawyer. She's a virgin. She's a virgin. I'm, I'm proud to say it anyway. The, the other one that got married, she, she was a virgin when she got married. You can afford to say, the world behind me, the cross before me. You can afford to say, I will not follow what the world is doing. Peer pressure, peer pressure, and so what? Have you checked people who work with peer pressure? Have you seen? Okay, now check this. Obama's wife was living with a boyfriend before she got married. Yeah? When she got married, thank God that she's already been married to Obama for years. The man where he was brought that paper and said, this is me and Michelle, how we are living before. <laughs> but I noticed I can't handle Michelle, that's why we break up. Okay. Obama, no girl on earth will come out and say Obama was my boyfriend. He stayed righteous. That's why the Bible said, the king of this world came, the prince of this world came, and found nothing on me. Hey, the prince, come here today. Hey, many of you, <laughs> if he don't find you on TV, I mean on telephone, he will find you on gossip. If he don't find you on gossip, he will find you on fornication. If he don't find you, he will find you the little money your mother and father money to send to you. You use it to go and cook food for somebody who is not your husband. <laughs> you use it to go and do, I feel all right. You use it to die in vibes. You use it to set yourself on heartbreaking. Something that will not give you a life. But you see yourself doing it. Child of God, I'm here today saying to you, the, if you decide, the first scripture said to you, he said, said turn and let us go back to God and walk in the way of the Lord. Then this scripture said to you, said, he said to you, he said, God will make you, we make you, his grace abound for you. And in your weakness, he shall make you strong. You know why many people miss it? Because they're afraid of loneliness. How can you be lonely when you have Jesus? How can you be lonely? And when you have Jesus, you will not even have time for this. You will be busy doing things for God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. None of you are too small, you know. None of you are too small. Today is my daughter. She's 23. She's the one preaching in the church today. Oh. She's the one preaching in the headquarters today. My husband will sit at cross legs and get gone. As he preaches, he says, Hey, nah, girl. Right yeah. on, baby. Right on, girl. So that's what my husband is doing behind. Because we have poured in her. It wasn't easy. But today I'm pouring in you that you may go back from every addiction. You see other guests, it's like other of the day. If you don't join to do boyfriend, my son, they call him uh, church boy. My daughter, they call him, look at them. But if they stand eating their mothers. Mm. If they stand eating their mothers. It's men that look, you know how many husbands that has been coming? But when you are running after husband, when they, how can you run after a man? He break my heart. <laughs> For Christ's sake, what is happening? What generation enemy want to steal from us? I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't run for man. Take away a chicken from your mouth, please. Don't run for man. Run for Jesus. When you run for Jesus, each time you turn for him, it's a blessing. Yes, Today you look at Pastor Rachel and you like her. As we should run after Pastor Victor. <laughs> we should be able to be a church woman. She cannot be. It's her husband that ran after her. My husband it took it six months then to get my phone number. Hey. Six good months. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
understand my own mind. Mm. I have no life. Now they are Many of you are great women, great men. Mm. Let your vision drive you. Nothing that can pull you down. So we say, let's go. Tonight is ready. We are going to rave tonight. It's Friday night. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Pastor Victor. Who rave? Well? Who put rave in night? So that we rave on Friday night. Friday night. I rave it every Sunday night. Amen. Amen. We are going rave. We are going clubbing. And he wouldn't believe it. I was. I came to England when I was 17 years. But I never knew what is called club or cinema, as big as I am. What am I, I, there is no communication between darkness and light. Right. Do they know that, if you talk about waters, yes. Because people that I know that knew it that time, we are there today. Some have married up to three husbands, they couldn't settle. Some has married up to four children, here and there, here and there. And let me tell you, you better start thinking. Because it's gonna be a heartbreaking. Some of you, your mother have two children from, have two of you or three of you from three different men, from two different men. You know how painful it is for you. You better start thinking, what am I going to do to my children? Am I going to drop my children like that again? Your children are your seed. Your children are convenient. Your parents may not have sat down under this kind of anointing. But you cannot sit under this anointing in this house, and then you will not be different. Ah, I cancel it. I cancel it, I cancel it. Somebody say, I cancel it. I cancel it. If you open with me, please, to the book of Galatians 2, verse 20. He said, I'll be crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Amen. You no longer live, but Christ lives in you. If you are crucified with Jesus, what happened when Jesus Christ was crucified? What if I said, the Jews went to his say, Are they not going to break his leg? Jesus said, What if I said, Yeah, his leg should be broken. That break his leg. When they got there, God aborted him. He found out that he's already dead. When you are dead, when you are dead to self, I'm telling you, you will not be a bad wire fighting everybody. You are the only Mr. You are only Mr. Right, Miss Right. It's only you that know it. No other person know it. Any other person is a sinner. You are the only righteous person. But the Bible said, the level in which you used to judge people, God will be used to judge you. You know, if you are a child of God, you no longer live. You no longer live. Say, I no longer live. I no longer live. But Christ in me Christ is the hope of my glory. I no longer live, but Christ liveth in me. People who live, you will see how they behave. Men are pulling down trousers. Women are pulling down trousers. Now they stop pulling down trousers. Now they decide. They see me, I can't. <laughs> what you can what do you have? Something that should be a glory to your life. Something that <laughs> you see the men they will pull down their trousers, walk like this. <laughs> Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means? It means that person is bound. Spiritually is bound. Because if you are not bound, you know, they will monitor it from they monitor the American prisoners. Like Jezil, the when they first went to prison. How are they working? They will come out with their number, their prison number. And then young people who do not know started buying the number of their t shirt in prison. And they start walking with chain that is on their leg. God will break every chain in your leg. <laughs> Your leg will be free. Your leg will not be bound by the enemy. Your leg will be free because the Bible says that the feet of them that preach the gospel. He said, blessed are feet of them. Your leg are to preach the gospel. Yeah. Your leg will not be hasty for what God hate most. Your leg will not be hasty to eat shed innocent blood. Your yeah. leg will not be hasty to do evil things. Yeah. That's why now, I bless God even for this land. Come to London, it's black against black. Black children killing black children. Now you're a black boy, you cannot go free from one place to another. Even my son, we can't we can leave him. Anywhere he's going, daddy, I'm going here. My husband became driver. 
You will drop him here or you pick him here. You drop him, you have to pick him. Because if you don't pick him, other boys may see him with his eyes alone. And they see how he dressed, they will say, Oh, you are enjoying yourself, you bastard. They will start the person. But God will not let them see any of you, Jesus. Yeah. I think that is London, America, you know, black against black. Mainly, mainly Chicago. Black against black. Killing children, killing themselves, stabbing people. And you people, you are here, you are free. Do you know you have every reason to serve God? Yes. Have every reason to serve God. In, in London, your yeah, school fees free today, they will tell you your visa is gone. Go. But here you can renew. I mean, somebody keep the money. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we are reading Galatians 2 20. He said, For Christ lives in me, and the life which I which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God. Who loved me and gave me his life for me? Gave his life for me. You don't want that, you know, you don't know that live for yourself. But Christ who loved you gave his life for you. Jesus who loved you died for you. When did we have his life? Just last week. <laughs> So we believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. So Jesus came, died, and resurrected again for you. And that is the that is the reason why you have the power to overcome. When he resurrected, what is this session? He said, Behold, I did not see you. Power to match up all servants and scorpions, and not a shatter in the Power to overcome. Power to go and, and go into the world and preach my gospel. That's the power. He didn't give you the power to see. That's why this morning we operated the campus ministry. He's the one heading it. Let them go and gather people from their campus, from their university. Because we in our in Sony University, we have over 1,000 people here. Mm. Yeah, 1,000 students. Once in a while I go to their home conference and pray with them, and you see what happened here. So if they're doing the whistle, they bring people to the house of God. We want people in the house. I want to see here going to two services next time I come. Amen. And so shall it be. Because you're going to go and win so. The addiction was dropped and the power of God to rise. Amen. That's why I'm preaching this message. When the addiction is dropped, the, their parents, the blessings they are sending to you will begin to work for you. How do you think? That when you get to and your mother and your father see you, and you come back with 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 white expatriates to start something, and they look at you, do you know what you've done? Or you come back, you say, Daddy, I'm coming back home to start church because I've been a pastor here. Now I finish my studies. Oh my God. Do you know what you've done? You've given, even if your father sell his land to train you, he will, he will breathe up and breathe in the inner peace. Amen. Amen. We've got to look at it that way. Drug addiction. It cannot be. <coughs> you can't take it. God knows I'm speaking to you as a servant. He cannot take it. Don't work with addiction. If you go to, if you go to Psalm 139, 23 to 24, he says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties. And see if there is any wickedness, any wicked away in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. Listen, the problem is that we don't know how to go to God. Say, God, search me. This thing I'm doing is it good. <coughs> Father, what I'm doing is it right? Ask God to search you today. If you ask God to search you, God will search you. Amen. And God will deliver you. And God will bring you to a place where you least expect things to happen to you. God will say to us that my hands are not shutting. Either is my ear there. But if you are sick, 
the dream demarcation. What can you do when you wake up in the morning? It's on the phone. In the night, you will be making telephone law. You'll be having sex on telephone. You'll be masturbating yourself. You'll be taking drugs. You will live where God is. You will run to some boy, somebody's place. Who is not to your wife? You lie down. Do you not know that the Bible says your body is the temple of God? When you are doing that, any time you commit it, do you know what you are, you are saying to Jesus? You can die. I don't need you. Because he cannot stay where he is. He can never stay here. Any time you are talking to a boy, who is born and all these boys? May God help you. Yes. <laughs> and that is not the voice anyway. Yes. When you start dancing, provocating, provocating, what do you want the voice to do? The voice control yourself. Here is Joseph. Joseph flee. When Joseph flee, judgment did not hold him. When David, after the great war, came back, sat down. The who carried the wife for food and back for him. He began to look at him. He said, go and bring that woman. Because he saw his nakedness. Your eyes will not see what will destroy you. Yeah. 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 Samson loved the woman of Timber. He left off and he went down. Anywhere he goes, Samson. And Samson, and he came to pass. Sassin entered into a harlot, and he came to pass. Sassin loved the woman of Tindad. He came to pass, and Sassin married. Uh -huh. Sassin married, and he wanted to go back to his wife, to go to his wife, and the father-in-law refused it. And he came to pass, and Sassin now find Delilah. Because one day, if you don't stop, Delilah is coming. Oh Most of the Delilah this day is not to do it physical, it's spiritual. If you see any girl who loves to run after man, run after that girl. He's a marine agent. What is targeting is what you carry. Run away from them. A woman, a girl, I know you are coming of age. A woman, a girl who love a man, you know what? The man will, he will wait until the man come for him. He will never go for the man. What will be the joy that you first of all throw yourself in? You say, I'm nobody. <coughs> Are you sure? If it's money, what I give you? Mm -hmm. Now, if I call for seed now, they will wait until I call for thirteen dollars. <laughs> but if it, it's ready to carry money, go and buy an uh, iPad, buy um, which one? The uh, 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 Buy what do you call it? Buy suit, buy shoe, buy everything, iPad. buy provision. When the boy is sitting, he says, I don't know. You are spending your money. I think I need you. I will use this here and help you. Mm. Let God help us. Mm. Don't let addiction work against you. Oh. Please. Don't let addiction. Addiction can kill you. Addiction can destroy you. Don't let it work against you. Amen. Amen. Let's go to. Second Thessalonians 3. Second Thessalonians 3. The Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guide you from the evil ones. Amen. God is faithful. He will establish you and guide you from the evil ones. Look at all the people who you see who are faithful to God. Is God not faithful to them? No way God will forsake somebody who is faithful. I am a living witness. I share my testimony. I told you many times. I'm a living witness. In short, the, <coughs> the first house I had in London was my school fees. I was seven. Seven, 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 seven. And I never let any of my pastor when I was, in short, I never, because I will use my money, buy it, he said they will sell and bring my money to me. And my father did it that every Saturday he was come back home. Friday he closed school. From uni, you are boarding your flight. Come back. Sunday, the whole family was stay together, eat together. Sunday night, you board your flight. Good morning, uh, good night, Nigeria. Good morning, Europe. You remember when they were doing it? Yeah. We are the group that time that we are traveling now. Wow. Wow. We are my brother, my brother, my sister. That's how we were. That was how we were brought up. 
that every day you must be hope. No way you cannot be hope. Because he wants to see what you are doing. And he knows that you will not have time to do nonsense. But that's not even the issue. The issue, issue is that I, as a child, I knew who God made me to be. And you, many of you, uh, no talk, I'm the one preaching. Many of you, many of you that are here today, you know within yourself that God has called you to do something great. And if you are playing with that thing, how can you succeed in life? Instead of you to go, if you are called a lawyer, study. My daughter, every time you see her, her wardrobe, her cupboard is like this, right around books. <coughs> I did give my law, children's law, but my own is not like her own. Because every day law is coming up, all kinds of law is coming up. And you have to refresh it yourself. Me, immediately I drop, I drop pen from exam, nothing to do with it anymore. I'm busy with the work of God. Just to be yes, I'm educated. What are you doing with yours? The gift that God gives to you, what are you doing with it? Some of you see yourself in the bank, working in the bank. Some of you are going to own bank. Hallelujah. But you don't know how to do it because you are playing. Oh my God, that's why I love African children in America. Each one you see, what do you want to be? I want to be a surgeon. I want to be a plastic surgeon. I want to be a bank director. I want to be this little, little children. You say, wow, that's what you want to be? They believe in education. And that's why today all over the world, if you go to America, you will see Africans who has made great impact. You will not even know the Africans. In music, they are making great impact. In, uh, in, in government, they are making great impact. Obama's advice are the youngest boy. He's a, he's a Nigerian boy. Yes, he's a Nigerian boy. He studied counseling, governmental counseling. He got to work and stuff. Well, they didn't have over 1,000 up here. But he will qualify more than qualified. You are in the land and the season that if you want to be extraordinary, you got to be extraordinary things. That's why I cannot stop. I said to you, I'm addicted to prayer because I'm in my Bible. Because that's what I know I'm doing that made God separate me from other ministers. If you see what separates you from others, stick to it. I, I, I have a friend, she will say to me, oh, if I travel, the bought ticket, they invited her to come and preach. And they invited her for four days. Now when she finished that very day, she, next day she will fly her, like I can. She said, I don't like what they did. No, 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 I don't work like that. They have to put me for two weeks. I said, uh, where will the church get money to pay for your hotel? He said, no, I don't mind paying for my hotel. But your ticket, they have to do it. I said, I said, uh, what of your church? He said, somebody will look after the church. He said, what of you? Are you not every day traveling? I said, I'm not the same with you. <laughs> when I was like you, that I'm getting invitation once in a while. If I go, it's short. Sure, that night I finish, I want to fly back to my church. I want to stay in the church. Because that's where your heart is. That's where your treasure is. Even today, I don't want to. That's why I didn't come on Wednesday. Because I cannot play with Wednesday. Everybody come. It's a great service. I'm on this service. So you go to look at things you do that opens your way, that show you favor, that God used to bless you. Stick to it. All this time you'll be crying, crying. I think a girl was crying the other day. If it's my daughter, I will one more time. One more time. When I want to pray for her, God say, what can I pray for? She's crying for more. How can people be crying for boys? And how can boys be crying for girls? I can't live with you. You yeah, the sugar in my life. Shut your mouth off. Shut your mouth off. Shut it off. And look for what God wants you to do. And be who God wants you to be. Not what you want to be. Praise the Lord. Are we getting somewhere? Yes. And we go to James 4.10. He said, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. When you humble yourself, God will lift you. Not when you are messing about. Humble yourself. God will lift you up. How many of you want to see life? 
that is full of favor and blessing. <coughs> Humble yourself. Stop being Miss Right or Mr. Right. Humble yourself. Amen. Amen. Humble yourself. Psalm 19, verse 14. <coughs> He said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in you. They are accepted in your sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. What are you meditating on? This is the question. Before you start accepting. If you don't meditate about the kingdom things, forget it. You won't work. What are you meditating on? Hey, thank God I'm free. Hey. I'm free from this woman harassment. Every day she will tell me, don't go out, don't do this, don't do that. Many pastors' children. Now, like, we age <coughs> them. Then when they grow up now, now find me to feel them. I tell you, let me share with you. When I came back, then my, my uncle is one of the director of customs in Bonny, in River State. <coughs> they said to me, I will post you to Bonny. Go, just go and do your youth service. While I was there, while I was to go there, immediately I received it. I said, oh, I'm coming that day. He said, no, come the Monday. That Monday, early in the morning, one thing I didn't want is for police to get involved in my matter. They're dropping me, they're picking me, I don't want it. I went to the airport, they dropped me at the airport, then I bought my flight. When I got there, so the guy was asking me, oh, I'm calling. I said, no, don't, I will give you money. Don't, don't tell that they've connected them. Don't tell them that, you know. So I, 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 I deceived them, not knowing I was killing myself. When I got, anybody here from Portacourt? When I got to, okay, when I got to Bonny, I mean to, uh, is it, a Bonny Mount, where they take the ship, the local ship to go to Bonny, it was almost 4 o'clock. And the man said to me, can you swim? I said, yes, now. I can swim. <laughs> because I didn't want me, myself to stay here to have anything to do with police people. I just want to go and meet my uncle, the customer, so I can start my youth service. On my way, going towards Bonnie. Hey. And you know, please pay that one. <laughs> the way that we leave the thing up, it will hit it back. It will lift it. It will hit it back. Hey, my God. I, oh, that was where I said, God, please, if you save me, I will work for you anyway. <laughs> I promise God that day that I will do anything, anything. That's why you see how human beings are. Everybody was jumping. I didn't know the official men. Jumping, jumping, jumping. The man said, Let me say you can in the middle of Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> so the man said, okay, hold me. Would you want me to say yes, sir? <laughs> <laughs> By the time we got to Bonnie, it was almost 8 o'clock. And my uncle, the policeman, they be regular, my father, everybody was so worried. My father is not descend on my mother. Oh, my mother died and we kill everybody. <laughs> yeah, my God. May to God be the glory, my uncle. Now, hey, my uncle was standing there saying, now was radio, radio saying, oh, she's alright, she's alright, she's alright. So they now radio my father. And my father said, take the radio to her. <laughs> Why did you leave home with her to tell me you are living home? I said, that. You are sleeping, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have died, do you think police, police uh, boat was waiting for you to yeah. take you, but you want to go and enter the canoe? <laughs> you don't know how to swim. That's a bloody question. This is why I'm saying it. Most of the time, when our parents is stopping us from doing things, it's because they saw the danger ahead. Yeah. I saw the danger ahead at 52 years. Going 53 in October. So if I'm telling you something, it's because it's things I've gone through. Don't mess yourself up. Don't let no habit work against you. Re-examine your heart. I say, Lord, do, do you, I, I believe you, you want to have, do you know, because your parents even send you abroad to go and touch you, do you know that they have, Put your hands this. Yeah, yeah. You must go higher than them. 
I told my father, I said, you make a mark in Nigerian police. I'm going to make a mark in my own ministry. And I'm telling my children, I said, you better start making your own mark. Because wherever I stand, it will be small for where you are going. Yeah. Yeah. So if yeah. you cannot see it that way, you will never, never go far. You will never go far. If your father go and build uh, eight houses, I'll work for you. That's why you see many rich men children, they don't do work. Because they know how to vandalize money. They know how to think that the glory of your father shall work for them. But let me tell you, if you can turn away from every, 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 oh my God, oh Jesus Christ, if you can turn away from every addiction, you will see change, things change for you in life. Somebody said change. Change. It's coming upon my life. It's coming upon my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. When I enter Italy, when I went to Italy last month, I was crying. Every year I go, I will live there with tears. Be before it was, it was middle-aged girls. But now it was, you will see, 16, 17. And the men will go and marry them, draw them, and tell them, come on, go on the street. You must go and make money. Why do you think I spend all my money to come and marry them? So you are still my wife, just go. They will send them out. One was crying, mommy is snake. They carry me and drop me inside snake, and the snake rub all over my body, and then they bring me out. He said, then, then my husband collect the money. Mommy, I want to die. I said, you will not die. Did they force you? He said, no. He said, yes. I said, then why do you not say you prefer to die than to fall into that place? But you, because you want to live, you see, God said the meditation of our hearts. What are you meditating? I want to go and live abroad. So that when you enter Nigeria, they will say, ah, or Africa, they will say, hey, uh, this one is living in Ukraine. This one is living in London. This one is living. Have you not seen people who live in Nigeria who are rich? Nigeria and South Africa, they don't buy motor with credit. They don't buy a house with credit. Everything they have is cash. Shabit, brother, we need here. All the houses he built, they didn't buy them with credit. Brother Tony, when he built his one, um, Tony Thurman, uh, they didn't buy it with credit. No, they all carry their cash no. and bill. Which bank will borrow you money? <laughs> but here, Western world, we live in credit. Everything is credit. That's why my family, nothing like credit card. My husband picked as an accountant, so he picked all the credit card. Chop it, chop, 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 chop. Our children, no student visa. No, I mean, no student loan. No. Pay hey, for them now. That's the price you should pay. When they grew up, what are they going to do? My daughter's master's is costing 26,000 pounds. To do her master's in law. Then we want to let her go and borrow government money. For life, you will get that child. And that's what your parents have done for you. Not because they have it. Even though the ones that have it. Some of them, some of them, some of them, some of our parents, they have bad addiction. <coughs> Some of them have an addiction, but you will not let the addiction fall on you. Yeah. Don't let it speak for you. Let the grace of God offer your spiritual father and mother in this church. I'm con in conjunction with my speak for you. I know the grace I carry. I don't boast of it. But I thank God for that grace. And I know no way that grace will not speak in this church, speak in this land, speak over the life of the pastor and his wife and all of you. No way. No way. Stop looking for help. There is help already available for you. Just submit. Submit. Walk in righteousness. Walk in holiness. You will see God begin to do it. Then the last scripture we are going to read. Romans 8. 1 to 4. I'm not preaching to condemn you. But I'm preaching to speak to you to turn away. He said, there is therefore now, no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Who can read for me? Yes, I have somebody reading with me. Yeah, read it. 
You see him as a place where you need something, you go and buy and go. go. It's not. It's not. Is he a Messiah? He paid a price for you. Price your mother and father cannot pay for you. Some of you, the price your mother paid for you, your father paid for you for bringing you abroad, you still think about it and you bless God for it. Mm. The think of the one who gives you the life. eternal life. Life. Life after <coughs> death. Life that even if this soul, the, I mean this flesh gone. You are spirit and you are soul is still there. You have to think about it. And the danger of, of spirit of lust, if it's a man, when he gets to the age of 35 years, because his head has been wired how to yeah. deceive many people. If it's with this person, we say with that person. If it's with another person, we say with this person. So he will never speak truth in his life. Because he said now began to wire that way. You will see, you will have like four or five parallel lines on his bread. In future, he will end up in confusion. Because he will not know what to do. Look at men who did, who, who, look at the president of, president of South Africa. Zuma. 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 Every year, he's going to marry. Anywhere he go, they do something, he will carry a wife from there. We go and marry. How can a man who has seven wives be able to, to lead a nation? How can? And then at times you go and marry your young girls that will even squeeze his bread. How can he lead? At times black community is a shame, you know? Yeah. Really telling you. When white man was leading it, we are saying apartheid. That was why South Africa was the way it is. When yeah, Mandela yeah. came out and took over, Mandela ruled because Mandela has been fashioned with his grain of civil rights. Right, yeah. he, he spent there in prison. In short, his children say he doesn't live a normal life. They say at times he won't talk to you. He won't smile with you. He just be to himself. So now, if you now see the kind of life the man has lived, all his south, all his wire to gather the nation and lead the nation to where he had division, and he did it. That's why the whole nation are crying now, yeah. because they know he's going. Yeah. Okay, now, the, the one that is there, who is a black man, <laughs> said, of he's looking for him, but because he had a bad habit of womanizing. <laughs> he carried that womanizing spirit to go and sit on the throne. Nigerian president now is having issues, because his wife did not have a child, they adopted two children, and now they now went to half. Now he now went out and now give a girl a baby and give her a second baby again. And that one now is after to destroy the one in the house. So we need to fight uh, Boko Haram. We are busy fighting. In the family, confusion. They always end up in confusion. confusion that's always in confusion. confusion. My father <coughs> was one of the best fathers I knew until he started going out, bringing babies into the house. And we said, What is this? Today, now my mother is there. But the passion we have for him is not like the passion we have for my mother. Why? Because you know that he's done something that is not right. Who put up lights? We are people of life, who sound like <laughs> So when you look at it, you say, so as some of you are brought up in that, in that kind of environment, why do you want to see yourself continue with such things? 
Stand on your feet and cry out to God. God, please, let heaven open on me and deliver me.